So today I'm here to share with you the fragrances that I've been wearing when I just want to feel clean. If you're interested, then just keep watching. Before we get into the video, I do want to quickly introduce myself for those of you who may be new here. My name is Aisha. I make videos about fragrance, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. If those are things you're interested in, please consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So like I said, these are the fragrances that I want to wear when I just want to smell clean. Now, of course, number one, you have to be clean, okay? So that's number one. <laughs> We don't spray on a fragrance to feel clean when we're really dirty, okay? Take a shower first, okay? So I do that, and then I spray these on, and they just make me feel very clean. They feel quite sophisticated and modern, in my opinion, and they go with that clean girl aesthetic that has been going around the internet lately. I do want to add that I had this video planned to film today, and then I turned on YouTube this morning, and guess who uploaded a fresh and clean fragrance video? Miss Demi Rawling, okay? So I almost canceled this video, but I was like, no, we're still doing it. I haven't watched her video yet, but because she's so big, I kind of thought, Maybe you shouldn't do yours, Aisha, because it may seem like you just did it because she did it, and that's absolutely not true. Um, I do love Demi Rowling, though. I know a lot of people feel one way or another about her, but I do happen to enjoy her videos, and I will be watching it after I film mine. So just wanted to put that out there. I'm not copying, okay? Although we all copy to an extent, you know? So anyway let's go ahead and get into the fragrances so the first fragrance that i have i actually shared on a reel on my instagram so make sure you follow me on instagram if you're not already but it was like spa vibe type fragrances and i feel like all of those could have been included in this video as well um, but i only included one because i just didn't want to duplicate information but definitely check me out on instagram if you want to see that reel for more of these type fragrances but this first fragrance i felt like i needed to include in this video because honestly when I got this fragrance that's when I knew I wanted to do this type of video so this is Initio Musk Therapy I love this fragrance y'all I haven't had it that long so when I smell this I get a lot of bright citrus right off the bat and I think it's bergamot or either lemon but to me it kind of smells like a mixture of like lemon and bergamot or either lemon and lime and Although it is very bright and fresh and zingy, it's not sharp. I find that a lot of citrus fragrances can go very sharp. This one is just, everything is so smooth. It's so well blended. Everything is just like a cloud of fragrance. You do have that white musk in there that just to me smells like clean type skin. To me, it doesn't smell animalic in the sense that it smells like dirty skin, which I feel like some musk can smell like, not dirty skin, but like skin that's been lived in for a while. That's not this type of musk. This type of musk is just very clean, very fresh. Like you just washed, you use some expensive soap, you use some expensive body lotion. This is very beautiful. I love it for the hot weather. I have worn this to so many places, to work, to church. I've worn this when I've been sick. I've worn it out in the hot heat. And I think it's simply gorgeous. And I definitely had to include this fragrance because once I started wearing this fragrance, this was kind of the inspiration for this video. So had to mention it. This is a lighter wearing scent in my opinion, but people do smell it on you. It's one of those that when you get a compliment, you may feel like, what, you can smell me, but people smell it on you, believe it or not. So again, that is Initio Must Therapy. So this next fragrance is probably my most used fragrance out of this entire category, and this is Kayali Musk 12. So this just gives me clean vibes. I love to spray this right after the shower. To me, again, it's a musky fragrance, but it does have some sweet nuances to it. It almost smells like there's musk, vanilla, and that kind of lays over some very light fruity notes. I don't remember the notes of this fragrance right off the bat, but it is quite just clean smelling. I love this smell. It's so comforting, so cozy without being overbearing. I can wear this in the summer, winter, any season. 
and I really like wearing this one to bed but I do wear it out of the house as well and it just makes me feel very calm and very clean and very sophisticated and it's one of those fragrances that I feel like I know I smell good and people may not even realize that it's my fragrance they may think it's my shampoo or just like really good soap or whatever but it just smells so good <laughs> <laughs> so again, that is Kayali Musk 12. The next fragrance I kind of use interchangeably with the Kayali Musk 12 and this is Essential Parfums The Musk. This fragrance to me is very similar to Musk 12 from Kayali, but this one is not as sweet, although Musk 12 is not really that sweet either. This one is a little bit brighter and not as sweet. So again, the same things that I said about Must 12 can really be applied to this fragrance. I kind of group them together whenever I think about them. But I would say this one does smell a little bit more clean. So it still smells like the clean Must scent. But in a way, it kind of gives laundry detergent vibes, but not in a bad way. Very faint laundry detergent vibes. But you just really smell really clean when you wear this. So again, that's Essential Parfums, the Musk. All right, we're gonna switch gears a little bit because I realized the first three fragrances all had musk in the name. <laughs> and I do feel like musk, when it's done in a certain way, does give off very clean vibes. So there are a lot of musky fragrances in this video, but they're not all musk, okay? So we're switching gears. The next fragrance that I have is from Guerlain, and this is Coconut Fizz. This is from their Aqua Allegoria line. I love this. Now, I do think this is discontinued, unfortunately. If I can find it to link it for you all, I will, but I, no promises because I'm pretty sure this is discontinued now, which makes no sense in my opinion because I feel like it was only out for like a year. Anyway, it's gorgeous. This to me smells like just pure coconut water. Coconut water is so fresh, it's so refreshing, and I love to spray this on when it's hot because it just makes me feel clean, it makes me feel refreshed, it just gives me that zen type vibe, and I love it. Also, when you smell it, it smells very lightweight because like I said, it smells like just pure coconut water in my opinion. But when you wear it, it actually sticks around for a decent amount of time, and you can smell it on yourself. This is not like a skin scent in my opinion. So. I think that's something to be said about this fragrance because when you smell it, you automatically think it's just going to be something very light, a skin scent you'll need to reapply in two hours, but that's not the case. It actually has decent longevity and people will smell it on you. So again, that is Coconut Fizz from Guerlain Aqua Allegoria line. The next fragrance is another one that is newer to my collection and this is from Louis Vuitton. It's called City of Stars. So this is gorgeous. This is a citrus scent. It's quite bright, it's quite fresh. It just smells amazing. <laughs> so to me, the citrus that I get most is some sort of orange note, and that gives it a little bit of sweetness, but in addition to that orange, I do smell something very sharp, like lemon or lime, probably lemon if I had to guess. It smells like lemon to me. So like lemon and orange, but the sharpness in this one is definitely done in the right way in my opinion. As this dries down, it kind of smooths out and you get a little bit of muskiness, you get a little bit of sweetness that comes into play. But this is not a sweet fragrance in my opinion. It's like just the right amount of sweetness mixed with brightness, mix, mixed with musk that really just works. Also, it lasts pretty long, um, especially for a citrus fragrance. I was quite surprised by the longevity of this. I actually have a whole video on this fragrance that I will link for you guys if you want to know more details about it. But this is perfect for when I want to smell just clean and fresh, especially if I'm going to be outside. I find that it really cuts through the heat quite nicely. So again, that City of Stars by Louis Vuitton. So the next fragrance is my laundry detergent fragrance. And this is from Carnar Barcelona. It's called Tardis. So I call this my laundry detergent fragrance because honestly, that's what it smells like, but in like the best way possible. So this smells like an almond laundry detergent. I've never smelled an almond laundry detergent, but that's what it smells like to me. So it's almond, it is slightly powdery, it's very clean smelling. This will be perfect for linens, but I like to spray this on my body. And I don't find that, when I, once I spray it on, I don't find that I smell too laundry-ish. Like it's not like I spilled a bottle of detergent on myself. But to me, once I actually spray it on my skin, it just smells like I have clean clothes. Like if somebody were next to me, 
and they smelled it on me, they would just think that I have a really good detergent or really good fabric softener on my clothes, but it's actually coming from my skin. So I like wearing this like when I go to Pilates, sometimes I'll wear it. I like to wear this to bed a lot. I like to wear this when I'm not feeling great. Um, whether that be like mentally, emotionally, or physically, it never bothers me. It just makes me feel very clean. And there's something quite comforting about feeling very clean. So again, this is Tardis from Carnar Barcelona. So this next fragrance is from Dior and this is Eden Rock. So this fragrance is a summer staple for me, but it also makes me just feel very clean, very sophisticated. This one is like clean girl vibes all the way. It's quite sophisticated, it's elegant. So to me, this fragrance is kind of like an aquatic, floral, slightly coconutty scent. I find this one kind of hard to explain because when you see the notes, you kind of think that this may be like a, a coconut floral. And yes, coconuts are in this and florals are in this as well. But to me, what's the overriding quality of this fragrance is that it smells like seawater, but not in a fishy way at all. It's just kind of like salty and aquatic without going the masculine route for aquatic and without smelling fishy at all. And it just has this sweetness from the coconut and the light florals in here as well. It's very, very good. This is one that when I initially sampled it, I wasn't like gung ho about, I thought it was boring. But the more I kept wearing it, the more I kept wanting to wear it. And it just makes me feel very clean, very modern. It makes me smell like a person who just has it all together. <laughs> Again, that is Eden Rock from Dior Privé line. The next fragrance is one from Joe Malone and this is Vanilla and Anise. So this fragrance does have Anise in it, which is a spice. But to me, what I get when I smell this is a very watery, light, vanilla scent with the kind of spices in it that smell like Dr. Pepper, but in a very, very, very light way. So if you like those type of Dr. Pepper type scents, those almond fizzy type scents, then you may want to try this because this is a very, very, very light take on those type of scents. And it just smells clean in my opinion. It's just, there's something quite watery smelling about this. And when I say watery, I don't mean watered down. I just mean like there's an actual like watery smell about it. Like it's hard to explain, but I feel like a lot of y'all will get me when I say that. But I wear this when I want to just feel clean and fresh and don't want to be doing too much, honestly. So I actually wore this this morning when I went to take my kids to summer camp and I, I went on a walk after that and it was quite pleasant for that. So again, that is Jo Malone Vanilla and Anise. The next fragrance is another vanilla scent and this is Juliet Has a Gun Vanilla Vibes. So again, this is a summer staple for me. It is a salty vanilla that also smells like there could be some coconut in here. And it definitely has this skin-like quality to it. And for me, that's what makes it feel like a clean scent. This fragrance smells like I'm just a clean girl who has a beach house and I just walk around smelling like I live on the beach. That that sounds kind of bad because sometimes beaches smell kind of weird, but this is done like so great. <laughs> you have to smell this one. It's very refreshing. And again, it kind of has that watery vibe that I really tend to enjoy. So again, that is Juliet Has a Gun Vanilla Vibes. So this next fragrance is from Byredo and this is Gypsy Water. Now again, I haven't had this fragrance that long, but I've worn it probably about three or four times now and I do thoroughly enjoy it. So to me, what I get from this fragrance is an aromatic nature right off the bat. So it smells kind of like green, quite fresh, even like slightly earthy. And then I also get some sort of citrus note. It kind of smells like there could be lemon or something like that in here. But then as this fragrance dries down, some vanilla starts to come in and it kind of just helps to smooth out the fragrance, sweeten it very, very slightly. This is not a sweet fragrance in my opinion, but the vanilla does become more prominent as I wear this fragrance. 
And overall, it just gives this very clean smell. This is the type of fragrance that I like to wear if I'm going somewhere, like to an appointment, to a doctor's office or something like that, because it just smells really good, non-offensive, and I just smell clean when I wear this. So again, that is Gypsy Water from Byredo. And the last fragrance that I have is one from Tom Ford, which is not known for making clean scents. <laughs> Actually, there was another one from Tom Ford I could have included in this video, but I didn't think about it, honestly. But the fragrance I'm talking about is Santal Blush. Now, this fragrance is probably not clean like all the other fragrances that I'm talking about. I feel like this one kind of stands alone, but it still makes me feel very clean when I wear it. So this is a woody fragrance. Sandalwood is the main woody note in this fragrance and to me it's the most prominent note in this fragrance but the sandalwood just smells quite creamy. There is a little bit of spice in this fragrance and I actually think oud is listed as a note in this fragrance but I honestly don't smell it at all. What I get is just that creamy woodiness that is very like transparent. This is not a heavy scent. I do wear this year round but there's just something very clean smelling about it to me. So to me, it's not really a soapy scent, but I feel like I could imagine this being the smell of a body wash. <laughs> I feel like I'm making no sense when I'm talking about this, but honestly, it just makes me feel clean. There's something very crisp and clean about this woody fragrance. And that's why I kind of saved it for last because I know it probably doesn't fit in with the rest of these, but it still makes me feel very clean. And I think that if you're looking for a fragrance that will give you that clean type smell, but it's not like the rest of these, this one may work for you because it's absolutely gorgeous and it's unique in my opinion. So again, that is Santal Blush from Tom Ford. So those were the fragrances that I like to wear when I just want to smell fresh and clean. Let me know in the comments down below if you've tried any of these fragrances. Share your opinions on them. I feel like that really helps people out when they're coming to watch videos. If you all are anything like me, whenever I watch a video, I do read through the comments as well because I want to hear what other people have to say. So make sure y'all leave your comments down below, not just for me, but for the other people watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, if you're not already subscribed, please go ahead and do that now. If you're not following me on Instagram, go ahead and check me out over there. I do give you sneak peeks of stuff and we chit chat in my DMs and in my stories. So definitely check me out on Instagram. I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.